Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to figure out the raptor length for a shed dormer. Okay, so to begin with, um, this measurement right here, this 78 and 5 16 that's the measured distance from where you want the bottom of your shed dormer to the top where the raptor is going to go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find out what this measurement is up here, the 60 inches. So after I've measured this and it came out to 78 and 5 16 to the, the ridge up there, I would take, use this formula, sine of 50 equals opposite over 78 and 5 16 So that would be this equation over here. So it would be 50 sine times 78 and 5 16 equals, and that will give you 60 inches, okay? Then the next thing I want to do is I want to find the length of this side. So in that case, I'm going to use tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So 60 is the opposite side of this, and this is the adjacent side, which I'm going to be looking for. So I take tan of 50 equals 60 over x, which is 60 divided by 50 tangent, and that will give me a height of 50.35 inches, okay? So now we got the three sides of our triangle. Now we can figure out what the front, we need to figure out what the height of our wall is, what half is, and what the height of our rafters. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what the height of our rafters need to be. Okay, so up here we have 60 inches. That would be, this would be like half of a roof. So I can use this distance as my run. So right here, I've converted into feet. I got five feet is my run. So then if I take that times the slope, I'm gonna put my rafters on a 412 slope. Take 5 times 4, that gives me an overall height of 20 inches. So from the top of my rafter up to there, that height is 20 inches. Okay. Now, next thing we have to figure out is what is half. Half is height above the plate. So normally when you figure rafters, you're going from this point up to your point up there but the rafter makes it sit up. So now you're going from this point up there. So you have to figure out what half is. Um, so if you take half, take your two by six rafter and put a four slope on that, a four on the common, and then you put a bird's mouth and you measure what you have left. In this case, I measured it and I got four inches above the plate from the top of my bird's mouth to the top of the rafter is four inches. All right, so that gives me 20 inches plus four inches for half above my stud wall. So then I start with my 50.35, I subtract off the 20 inches from my rafters that I need and 24, or excuse me, 44 inches for half. And that leaves me a total height of 26.35 inches. So from this point to that point, I have 26.35 inches of a height, okay? So that's all you need to do to figure out the rafter length. Now, to find the rafter length, all you have to do is you can go, you can use your uh, blue book and you double this number to 10 feet and you find out what your, that's your, that would be your span. And then you read that out of your blue book or you can do it mathematically. So you have, you have this height, which is 20 inches and you got that height over there, 60 inches. So we could find the run from that point to that point up there. We could use Pythagorean theorem or we could use this formula over here. So Pythagorean theorem is the easiest one. So 20 squared plus 60 squared equals the square root of that number. And that will give you the rafter length. 
from that point to this point, okay? So, that's all you need to do to figure out the rafter length for your shed dormer and you have the height of your wall so you know how high to build the wall and put your shed, your shed rafters on top of that. So, figuring shed rafters for a dormer.